Hi guys, we're here in New York. We're at the Women in Film and Television Design Awards. That's right, it's their 17th annual awards night and they're partnering also tonight with Variety, so I want to give them a big shout out. They're here tonight to celebrate the amazing costumes, hairstyles, makeup that go into making all those film and TV shows we learn to love that much more incredible. We're here tonight to really honour them. We have some incredible actors and producers like Ray Liotta from Shades of Blue. He's going to be presenting an award. We also have Maura Tiani from The Affair and The Affair is going to also win some incredible awards tonight so stay tuned for that. We're also honouring the likes of Sarah Edwards who's an incredible costume designer and she's done films like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes it's a mouthful and she did all, all the costumes for that so it's quite incredible stuff. They actually have some displays on here of some of these amazing movies and TV shows so I can't wait to walk around and show you some of them. I also want to give a shout out to Tangarella. That's the fashion house that designed this really cute little number that I'm wearing today. So thank you, Tangarella. Let's go meet some of these incredible actors and get the night going. Lovely to meet you here tonight. Incredible outfit you've gone first oh, and foremost. Let's get a you. look at that. I'm in a black ensemble myself. We can't thank go wrong. You. Can't no, go wrong. No. So tell me, you've worked on some incredible films like Walter Smitty and also Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> tell me, what is a mouthful? <laughs> I always still get it wrong, right? right? And you've worked on one and two. Tell me, what is it like, obviously, working traditional film and then working like CG? You know, what's kind of the transition like for you? Well, you know, it's interesting because a lot of the characters when you work in films like Ninja Turtles are wearing motion capture suits. Right. So, uh, you, you know, you'll have a character that's fully costumed mm -hmm. interacting yes. with an actor that's in a motion capture suit, wow. which is... They're, and it's very hard, and often they're talking to nothing, as this was in the case with Krang with this. You have an actor who's interacting with a, a green screen. It's so incredible. it's really the actors, I think, that are yes. challenged more yeah, than Yeah, right, then you're right. So was it a dream project when you found out, I'm going to do Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Was it like every designer's dream? Like, what was that moment Well, like? it was, you know, it was really fun because I'd never done anything like it before. Right. So it was kind of, a, you know, it was a definitely a change for me at yes. that point. Yeah, absolutely. And and I feel like I learned so much and mm -hmm. it was so different from other things I've done. Yeah, and totally. A lot so, of do fun. You, so you have such a range to that point, the types of movies you've worked on and TV shows. Is there a particular one, I know you love all your babies the same, but is there a particular one that stands out to you? I mean, I like some of the... I really enjoyed working on Michael Clayton. Right. I really enjoyed working with Sidney Pollack on yes. The Interpreter. Oh, I know yeah. these were a long time ago, but, no, but I, classic, I really enjoyed classic. working on both of those films very much. And then another film I did very early in my career, Igby Goes Down. Oh, I, yes, I really I yes, loved I know, yes. working on that, and I loved the director, Burr Steers. That's and a great film. It's a lot of fun. Very so, quirky. Yeah. Well, look, yeah. absolutely lovely to meet you. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Tonight and coming out here in New York. Are you, you are you from New York yourself? I am. Oh, there you are. Yes, Don't have to go far. Don't have to go far. <laughs> well, enjoy the night and I'll be routing for right. you. Thank, Thank you. you. So we just missed Will Arnett. Yes, the lights here were apparently too bright for him. Hmm, interesting. Too bright, Will, huh? Not used to that red carpet. No, we will find you. I know you're out there tonight. I want to speak to you. Also, Maura Tierney, you haven't got away from me tonight. I'm going to find you as well. We really want to speak to you guys. We want to find out all the incredible costumes you wear and why you love them so much so I'm, I'm coming to get ya. We're going to take a little tour. They've actually got displays of some of these incredible outfits from these film and TV shows that you just love. So we'll start with Sarah Edwards who I noted. Look at these designs. This is from The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. You can see the incredible work that goes in. Such a quirky film and I love it and you can see that this ensemble right here is in fact is in fact right here check it out she's wearing it right there how cool is that 
So Secret Life of Walter Mitty fans, there you go. You saw it here first. Let's keep going because Sarah has done some incredible work. She's, she's going to be awarded tonight, but she's one of the most prominent costume designers in the business. Let's have a look. Here we have, she's done the works of Michael Clayton, The Interpreter, Tower Heist. I mean, what hasn't she done? <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right, people. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Check this out. See this little, little number here? Well, that's Megan Fox's jacket. That's right. You can actually see her wearing it right here. Look at that. It's the real jacket, people, for those Megan Fox fans. That's got, got to take a lot of time to create. I, I want to know how much time that took to actually create, but some pretty incredible stuff. Let's go and have a look at some more. And now we have the hairstylist. That's right. We have Rose Chatterton. We have a little display here. You can see the incredible hairstyle she's done for like the Nick. Check it out. Really incredible stuff. The Sun of Noon. The Good Wife. One of my personal favorites. Really cool stuff. when I had my first job in the costume shop at the Public Theater in New York City. I would walk Linda Ronstadt's dog while she had her fitting. I spray painted shoes, I did returns, and I got paid $98 a week. I've always thought of myself as a people person. I went on to college where I was a fine arts major. I was thinking I was going to be a painter. I always say it's a bit like the Mafia, you know, I tried to get out, but they pulled me back in. I wish we were young, young, upwardly mobile, professional, those are good things, not bad. Her belly laugh is the best remedy for a hard day. <laughs> 